Fort Nerith is one of the hardest places to raid as a solo player. And today I'm going to teach you exactly how I like to go into Fort Nerith and do it as a solo. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and let's hop right into it. So as I said, Fort Nerith is insanely hard, but hopefully with this strategy, I will help you guys in getting there safely and soundly. Now, first things first, this is the kit that I'll be rocking, the Fast MT Helmet, which is a triple IA+. Plus. We have the Quads Headphones, RPC, Recon Plate Carrier, which is, as you see, a 3+. plus. We also have a lot of heals, and we're bringing a couple different sights with us with this MK18, which is a 1.48 MOA, which isn't too bad. We're using a 1-6 to Voodoo sight on it, and we also have an EXP holographic sight in our butt, just so when we get into the headquarters, we can play slowly and peak angles with our hollow sight. Now, I am bringing five stacks of 55645 FMJ because the bots at Fort Nerith actually drop AP rounds, so my goal is to kill bots and collect their ammo in the process. This is our kit, and we're actually going to land at a special location at Fort Nerith called Delta 1. Basically, my game plan for this is to go into Delta 1 and walk in through all the hangars, kill all the AI here, and make our way to headquarters. I'll show you guys exactly how I do that, but without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so we just landed at Delta 1, and we're going to run straight to our west real quick and make our way to the gate. But right here, there's a gate right in front of us, and this is where we're going to enter. There are some houses along the right side right here with AI, as you see right there, but we're going to try to not aggro that, those guys for as long as possible. We probably won't aggro them. Right here, we have this little blue truck for cover, because if we didn't have this truck, this would be the worst place to enter. But as you see, we have a little blue truck for cover, and now we'll just start peeking the angle, start seeing if we see any bots, any guards. We'll move left. We won't get too close to the gate yet. We're not going to get too, too close because we don't want to absolutely fully engage. I'm not seeing anyone on the right. We're going to start moving a little bit here towards the road, a little closer, actually, just due to the fact that I don't see any guards yet. I just heard a guard here. Okay, he's getting mad. That guard's down. That guard's down. I think I killed that. Yeah, that guard's down as well. We got three guards down so far. Make our way slowly. Peek the angles. Just peek them real quick. That guy eliminated. And now I do want to loot almost every guard here. Again, the ammo is really, really good here. But I'm just going to push a little bit forward and see if I can kill a couple more AI. Because I don't want to be looting. And then just get one tapped in the head. That is not the ideal start for this. So we're just going to move up a little further. Look through the gate. Looks like we're okay from the left. Now I did hear another shot. So we have another AI looking at us. I'm not sure where. That's what I get for not using the best ammo. I am cheap. I buy cheaper ammo. And then I get the better ammo from the guard. So call that what you will, you know? All right. So I think we're pretty clear to loot these guards all the way in the back here. So we're going to loot them and just make our way collecting the ammo real quick. Make sure there's no guards coming. So this guy has an AK. So I don't really want to loot him. I'm trying to loot the guys with the CQ. Cues. Okay, let's see. This guy's a CQ. Perfect. So we're going to unload, 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 take that frag. And as you see, we have M855 right there. That is exactly what we're looking for. Those are the AP rounds that we're going to need to raid this base. You're going to want to have a lot of ammo. That's all I'm saying. This is a dangerous body to loot. This is dangerous. Take that water and that surf kit just in case. Kill that AI right there. He was walking up on us, actually running up on us. That's a tree. I thought that was a guy. Now we're just making our way up very, very slowly. There could be people in these little hangars here, so we have to be careful. Could be one on the road right here as well so as you see right there there's one let's pop him in the head where'd this guy where the hell did this guy come okay um okay we have a teammate now here or something i don't know how where he came from but okay perfect oh my gosh we ran out of ammo i think that's that's the boss what is he doing over here okay that's that's the boss right above us so we're gonna put some good ammo in this mag Okay, so we just killed the boss. He did shoot me once, though, so we're going to stop our light bleed. But we killed the boss. I'll show you guys what he actually has. Is this him? Okay, this is the boss. Uh, he has an AK-74M, the Panzer 2.0, a Type 2. But I'll show you guys real quick what the gun looks like real quick. So this is the gun. As you see, it's got a 1 to 4 time, so it's basically a Spectre. If it's not, I'm pretty sure it is a Spectre. Yeah, it is a Spectre, and it's not really an insane gun. A 3.22 MOA, which is pretty terrible now this is probably the most dangerous part of this whole thing because there's a lot of shrubbery so we really got to look out here so essentially what we're going to do is scan this left side make sure that no one's over there by that building and we're basically going to clear it all right i'm pretty sure i cleared all of this out but i just want to triple check there's two the ai that i killed right there it's going to see if we hear anyone screaming we don't so i think we're cleared that way
Okay, so now I just sprinted into the building. And I, I got inside, which was the most important part. And now there are about 7,000 AI here. So this is one of the hardest parts is actually staying alive in this base. Now we're just going to move up kind of room by room. Jump across here. See if I can see any. Right there. One's dead. I'm just going to check if no one's pushing in on us. I think we're good to loot it right now. There's an AK-74M in here, which is all right. I'm probably not going to take it, though. We already killed the boss, so we know he's not in here. Now we're just making our way through the building, trying to clear it out as quickly as possible without dying. There's another guy down this hallway, I think. Oh my god, he was camping around the... Okay, we're going to make our way up a little bit. I don't... I genuinely don't know where this guy went. If I die behind another door, we're going to have so much beef, it's crazy. Where are they screaming? I'm... Boys. We got a splint, we got a bag right there. Okay, I think we've cleared out basically all of it did that guy screaming what's he screaming for what are you doing i think there's someone else here because they're not shooting at me there's no way oh they could be on the roof here that guy out of here check around the corner check up there i believe this is a, a crate we can loot up here i believe so let's close that door let's loot this guy real quick what gun what gun do we have here sir ak no keys i found no keys so far which is a little bit sad but it is what it is i guess okay but basically i mean we raided fort Nareth pretty successfully died one time but hey we're in the compound there's no more enemies near me overall i'd say we raided it pretty nicely and if you did enjoy this method of raiding let me know in the comments down below again thank you guys for watching another location guide will be out soon i want to get some loot guides out as well so if this helped you complete some of your quests leave a like subscribe i'll see you in the next one adios